me grease the skids a little bit with some seed oils here. There's a little bit of a twist, as you're going to see, and I regret that some people are going to become very inflamed at this perspective, but perhaps linoleic acid itself isn't the bad guy, but rather what it turns into, what it gives birth to. Now, that may be splitting hairs, which a guy like me isn't inclined to do very often, but nevertheless, I think it's an important distinction, and it does help us understand the evidence. Why is it that some studies show no effect with linoleic acid, but others do show an effect. Well, let's sort of tease that out. But before we move forward, let's go back. In fact, way back. We have to go back about a century to really explore the introduction of seed oils, things like soybean, corn, sunflower, canola oil. These weren't a thing in the human diet. We might have used them industrially as a lubricant, but we didn't use them to lubricate our intestines by consuming them. At the time, people largely just used butter or lard or tallow, natural fats that are rich in saturated and monounsaturated fats. Now, this isn't to say they are devoid of the villain of the story, linoleic acid, the omega-6 polyunsaturated fat. It has always been there, just about one to 2% of the fats we ate. So just to really make that clear, even natural fats that come from animals, which again, humans have been eating since time immemorial, and that's one of the reasons, among others, that I'm a great defender of them. They do have linoleic acid, and linoleic acid has been considered an essential fat. Well, that's fine. We get it from those natural sources. Again, about one to 2% perhaps. But then came the industrial food shift, for lack of a better term. By the 20th century, the refining technology made seed oils not only cheap and abundant, but then rather only being used in industrial capacities, they led the charge in this dietary takeover, as I mentioned earlier, and became a, a very prominent part of the global diet now, but at the time it was things like margarine and, and used in cooking all over, in homes and in restaurants more and more. In a 2011 paper published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, a group at the NIH is the, really it's the group that we primarily can thank for exploring the historic trends, but they showed that linoleic acid intake skyrocketed. Soybean oil went from essentially nothing in the human diet in 1909 to up to 20 pounds per person in 1999. And in, indeed, it's continued um, since then to increase to the point where soybean oil is the single most commonly consumed source of calories from fat. So more people are getting their fat calories from soybean oil than any other fat. A 2015 Advances in Nutrition study confirmed the trend by actually tracking the amount of linoleic acid in fat cells, and they found that it had gone up over 136% since the 1950s. That's important because linoleic acid is not a fat that we're going to make. So insofar as this study was able to determine an increase in the amount of stored linoleic acid, it is further evidence of just how much more we are consuming. Now, why is this relevant? Part of it is relevant because saturated fats got demonized. Well, that explains partly why seed oils became so such darlings of the dietary world. Post-World War II, the scientific professionals really pushed these so-called heart-healthy oils, considered heart-healthy because they have an effect of reducing LDL cholesterol. Now, that is a topic for another time, but you could look up the, the Minnesota coronary experiment in the Sydney Diet Heart Study to just get an appreciation of very big, long-term studies that used these seed oils and found, yes, LDL cholesterol went down, but unfortunately and inconveniently, mortality went up, so they actually were dying more 